hello students in our previous video we studied about ionic hydrides and today we will study about molecular or covalent hydrides okay molecular means molecule is there and it is having a covalent bond these hydride they are formed by the elements of group 13 14 15 16 and 17 group uh, like carbon uh, hydrides they are called hydrocarbons if hydrides of boron they are called boranes and hydrides of silicon they are called silanes now we will see how they are prepared first one is by the direct combination of elements with hydrogen if these elements they will combine directly here like hydrogen with fluorine to form hf nitrogen and hydrogen they will combine directly to form ammonia conditions will be there okay which are not written over here now second one is by reduction of compounds with nascent hydrogen this nascent hydro hydrogen it is produced from some uh, agents and this nascent hydrogen will react with uh, see it is reacting with the chlorides of germanium and uh, uh, germanium here it is reacting to form germanium hydride along with the formation of hcl now see the third process is it is the hydrolysis certain compound like borides carbides silicides nitrides etc upon hydrolysis hydrolysis either by water or by a dilute mineral acid they give covalent hydride like here if we talk about this mg3b2 uh, here it is combining with hcl one dilute mineral acid we will get magnesium chloride along with the formation of b2h6 diborane okay borines have formed here if here we have taken calcium carbide it is undergoing hydrolysis it will form calcium hydroxide along with the formation of c2h2 which is a hydrocarbon so these uh, hydrides they are formed they can be formed either by if sub, if we have taken borides silicides carbides and nitrides they will combine with water or dilute mineral acid to form hydrides now fourth one by reduction of halides with lithium aluminum hydride this is a very strong reducing agent see sicl4 it is, it is taken here it's silicon chloride and when it will react with lithium aluminum hydride we will get lithium chloride aluminum chloride and see sih4 that's why it is called reduction because here it is chloride and it is gaining hydrogen so this silicon hydride is formed that's why here it is because lithium aluminum hydride it is acting as a reducing agent now fifth one is by electric discharge higher boron hydrides and other hydride they can be prepared by passing electric discharge between metal electrode in hydrogen atmosphere so higher boron hydrides they can be formed by like this also properties if we talk about covalent uh, hydrides they are either gases or liquids gases and liquids they are that's why they are having low boiling points okay these are volatile in nature means they will vaporize upon heating they are poor poor conductor and see poor conductors even in the liquid state they are also the poor conductors and these are not very stable not very stable means they will easily decompose on heating now classification according to the relative number of electrons and bonds it see uh, please read it very carefully because from here you will come to know about what are lewis acids and what are lewis bases electron deficient hydrides if we talk about electron deficient hydrides it means they have lesser number of electrons for writing their lewis structures like if you are writing diborane c b2 h6 if you'll see then boron is having uh, lesser electrons than eight and still it is forming a bond it is forming a compound here so uh, they will act as lewis acid because they can accept electrons they are electron acceptors okay that's why they are lewis acids electron precise means they are having a proper number of electrons among themselves like if you talk about 
methane one carbon is there four hydrogens are there they are equally sharing their electrons and all of them like carbon will have its octet complete and hydrogen will have its duplet complete but here if we talk about b2h6 then uh, boron will not complete its octet it is electron deficient that's why it is electron acceptor it can accept electrons and those compounds uh, which can accept electron they are called lewis acids these hydrides are lewis acid these are precise proper number of electrons and these are electron rich means they will have an excess of electron excess of electron or a lone pair of electron can also be present over there okay like if you talk about ammonia molecule or water molecule they are having these this lone pair and this lone pair they can donate to anyone that's why they are called lewis bases they act as a lewis base that is they act as electron donors they are electron donors and see they have a lone pair of electron here on the highly electronegative atom the molecule of these compounds form hydrogen bond with other molecule they can easily form hydrogen bond like water also it can form hydrogen bond because of this lone pair of electron on a highly electronegative atom so this was all about covalent or molecular hydrides thank you